And I know that after my going away from this earth, them tapes and them books will be living on, and many of you young children will find in the days to come that this is exactly the truth. Because I speak it in the name of the Lord. And if there's anything that I will say that my acquaintance with Brother Branham and my experiences with him makes me love Jesus Christ that much more. I borrow that statement from a Roman Catholic priest that wrote that in the Jeffersonville Times the week of Brother Branham's funeral. He said, because I knew Bill Branham, I know Jesus Christ better. His preaching was halting and simple beyond belief, but William Branham became a prophet to a generation. As Tommy Ogden said at the memorial service, he said, God in his infinite mercy saw fit to send us a God man before Jesus come back so that we would really know what Jesus Christ was like. And uh, I think he did he put it well. These two gifts given to him. The one was to discern the thoughts, the intents of the hearts of the people. Yes. And he would just tell you your name, where you came from. And if you were in an accident, he would tell you precisely how the accident was, your disease and everything. And one person after the other, tell them in detail, even to their house number and their name My. over and over again. He would some, in some cases tell them what their real name was, but say, they call you this, mm. and give them the name that they're known by in the, by the family. Mm. Then he looked back to me. He said, you not from here. You from out of town. And he said, you have been a mine worker. And he said, you from Virginia. And he said, you're not for an operation. And uh, uh, he said, you're up for an operation. He said, if it's that right, it says, raise your hand. I raised my hand, and then he said a few more words, and he said, stand to your feet. I stood to my feet, and he told me there, he said, go home, and Jesus makes you well. He said, I see a heavy set doctor looking in your eyes. And he said, he tells you you're going to go blind in your right eye. He said, he's treated you for a long time, and it's incurable. He tells you he can't, he can't help you. But he said, thus saith the Lord, you won't lose that eyesight. Amen. Now, there was not even a grain of sin in my mind that this was not going to happen. I had my mindset, my heart set, if I could get before that prophet, God was going to heal my son. I see those ambulances out there, and maybe being old dad in there with a crippled baby. He knew that God had a prophet in the land. If he could just get to that prophet, everything would be all right. Every time that Brother Branham came into town, there was such excitement and so much anticipation by mm -hmm. the people. And so we would always go to church probably three to four hours early. And no matter how soon we got there, there was always people lining up, waiting to go in the doors of the tabernacle. He preached the message that was more than a bunch of words. He preached the life to us. And the life that he preached is the life that he lived. Yeah. You know, the Lord was with him all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yes. <clears throat> and he knew a lot of things all the time. So show you how carefully God watches over the word of a prophet. It was exactly three years to the day, the same time of day, 10 o'clock, that he put them on my face is when Brother Branham said, I'll give you three years and you will put on a pair. When you'd start to tell him the dream, he'd stop you. Tell you the whole dream from beginning to end, how he was laying, how he had his hat pulled down, what the horses meant and everything. Let's us know that that same God is alive today. When he would come to see us, 
there would be the sweetest spirit. And that spirit would stay around for several days. It was so wonderful, and I just sat back and I thought, I'd like to just live here forever. And Brother Branham says, Brother Eddie, every time he comes, something good happens. Streams, rivers, wide, wide, expansive valleys. And one day, the sun was just shining so beautiful and warm. Brother Branham and I, as we sat there, he said to me, you know, Brother Eddie, he said, over there, just beyond the curtain of time, it's very much like this. You know, he says, I'm just a little man, but I'm carrying a great big message. I said it was like Eliezer, and he had the gifts with him. Rebecca said, I'll just climb on that camel, and I'll just follow that man. And that's the way I am tonight. I'll just follow what the prophet of God had to say. I'm here to tell you, after following this message all these years, there's no error in it. It's every word, the gospel truth. She looked at me and she said, you know, Earl, that this is it. There is Take care of it now. Amen. Take care of it now. Yes. By all means, yes. get God in your life yes. to the degree that you have the token. Yes. And the way you get the token, Brother Branham said, full obedience to the Word of God entitles you to the right. token. Out of some glorious day, yeah. when this revival is over, he'll come from glory, spread forth his great wings of power, and the little eagles will hook their bills into there and fly away into glory with him.